Hey everyone, how's it going? JD Strategic here. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, in today's video, I want to talk a little bit about psychology. Um, some of my videos have been a little bit psychology related, and that's because I've been reading a lot of stuff, um, psychology books, um, psychology articles, just trying to understand a little bit about how the human brain works and how the mindset works, because overall, I think having a clear mindset is very key to achieving your goals and whatever you want to get out of life um, or even just being happy on a day-to-day -day basis it's all about the mindset so um, I'm a vivid vivid supporter that mindset's key with everything so I think it's really important to study that in order to better understand yourself and what you want to get out of life so in today I want to be talking about being a master at visualization and this is talking about manifesting those thoughts inside your head to make those thoughts become more of a reality. And there really is like a science behind this. So specifically, I wanna talk about the reticular activation system. So this is a network of neurons and it basically acts as a filter system in your brain. So it allows certain inf information into your brain and then it blocks other information from getting into your brain. Um, and this is a um, basically a filter that you program. So um, if you think about when you're basically scrolling through the internet, you're reading an article and then there's like three ads popping up on the side um, and you're trying to read that ad, like maybe you're reading the ad, maybe you're reading the article, maybe someone texts you at the same time. There's just a lot of information to process at once. So you're, this reticular activation system acts as the filter systems to see what your brain kind of retains and what it doesn't retain. So it really is about kind of retaining more of the positive thoughts and letting go of the negative thoughts. And you really want to manifest some of these positive thoughts into your brain. Um, and it really does help your mindset longer term. Um, I think another really interesting example is the toothpaste example. Um, scientists have found that um, like when you go to a store, there's like over 15 different types of toothpaste. So when you go to the store, there's just a lot of decision making with like every item. So if there's like over 15 toothpaste, just that decision alone contributes to an, an, the anxiety in a human. Um, so there's so much, so many decisions. So it's best to kind of cut back on some of the decision making. Um, but it's very hard in society nowadays um, with all the distractions, so much being thrown at you. So it's up to um, you and how you control your reticular activation system to see what information you process and what information you let go. Um, and this is kind of why you see um, people in really good situations that may kind of have more of a negative mindset and then you see people that may be in um, not great situations and they're some of the happiest people you ever see. And obviously this goes in every direction possible and there's so many different factors possible but I think a strong contributor really is the mindset and it really is up to you to kind of, as I said, manifest those positive thoughts. Um, this is something that I try to do like just before I go to bed at night, just think about positive thoughts and kind of what you want to get out of life. Um, and it really does go a long way in my opinion. So I really challenge you guys to practice this manifesting challenge of manifesting these positive thoughts in your life um, throughout the day and see how that affects you long term. Thank you everyone for tuning in today. I look forward to talking to you guys tomorrow. Bye.